One local volunteer fire department was responding to calls in the aftermath of the storm, but it has some troubles of its own after losing a lot of gear in the flooding. News Channel 11's Jayana Scurry has more. On Friday, September 27th, rain from Hurricane Helene flooded the Elk River, taking with it in its path the Elk Mills Pogi Volunteer Fire Station, along with one of their fire trucks. Members of the VFD were already out responding to calls. And then they got back and they tried to get all the trucks out and take them over to the store where it's a little higher ground. And they actually got them all out but one. And they, they, that's, that's when they took the fire department away, when it took the last truck. Michael Walsh, the Elk Mills Pogi VFD chief, says all of their gear they didn't have in the saved trucks were also lost. I'm standing in the location where the Elk Mills Pogi Volunteer Fire Station used to sit. The Elk River is right beside it. Fire Chief Michael Walsh says when they rebuild, it's going to have to be in a different location on higher ground. If it flooded once here, it'll, it might not do it in my lifetime, but it'll eventually do it again. So we're, we're going to start fresh and new. Even with their loss, the VFD is still out helping others in their community. We tried to get the best we could, you know, a food bank set up to give to our community and now we have a, a communications trailer donated to us so we can get started on our fire department stuff. Jason Clausen is a fifth generation Pogi resident. He says the fire department is a lifeline for the community. It's always been the, the hub of this little community here and it's where we vote. It's where we got our elections at. So, you know, everybody's concerned even where we're going to vote, where we're going to meet because it's such a hub for our community. Walsh says dozens of fire departments from around the nation has reached out to donate gear. The Midway VFD in Virginia is donating a truck that was actually donated to them years ago when they needed help. Both Walsh and Clawson are proud of the community's outpouring of support. How they have joined together and went and checked on their neighbors and made sure everybody went through. We honestly don't need a disaster to come together. When anybody's in need, these, uh, all these people here, they, they come to the rescue most of the time. Walsh says they're probably looking at months before phone service and full electricity is restored there. He says they'll worry about rebuilding their station after the community is taken care of. In Pogi, Jayana Scurry, News Channel 11.